Ooh, it's cold out today. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Life on Beagle Road. It's chore time. So let's get to it. Well, 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 look who decided to come outside in the morning. I mean, I've had my coffee, so yeah, I'm good. You know, I got up early today specifically for this. It's windy out. Oh, goodness, I don't do windy and cold, man. Every day, Kenny, I do this every day. You want a medal? No, I want a cookie. Oh, I got some cookies inside. Hey, girls. Hello. Oh, look, we got an egg out here. Huh. Found a duck egg this morning. Uh, ducks, Look at that, the duck egg. The ducks don't know what they're doing. No. Good morning. Look, I love it. Look at these cats. This is like a cat bin in here. What's up with that? There's nothing but cats in there. We put the. It literally is all cats underneath that light. And then these guys. Hey, you. Hi. What do we got there, Mama Green? Green for the yeah. girls. Hey, little guy, come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah, come on, buddy. Courtney does this thing where she like drops half of it in one place, then half of it, or no, what? You drop a little bit in one, then go to the other, drop the rest. The old do si -do. Yeah. And then, uh, then you're able to get them all fed, right? You gotta, you gotta trick the goats. Yeah, it, it can't be done easily. It's always gotta be done with a little bit of drama. drama. Oh, come on, Mr. Turkey, what you doing in there? <laughs> Actually, it's Miss Turkey, sorry. Didn't mean to upset you. Yeah, everybody's happy now. What happened to that cat? She, uh, the other day, there was like literally a hole in her side. What? into like the fatty tissue under her. She was attacked. But it wasn't bloody. Like, I, I have no idea what happened. I cleaned it out and bandaged it. And uh, I'm gonna have to change the bandage every. Isn't that the one that was just in the house for like yep. two weeks? She's definitely down to at least only seven lives. Yeah. Here's Honey Rider. She gets milk first because her kids are the youngest. I am uh, pulling her two bucklings at night. I'm leaving her doling with her because the doling's the smallest, so she probably hasn't been getting as much milk. And honestly, like this udder is massive. I don't need to pull that doling at night. Oh yeah. Oh my. Yeah. Wow. I that, mean, that's full. And so well attached. Like you see up here, her udder attachments are like way out here wide. Wow. Yeah. Are yeah. you gonna be showing her? Yes, I'm gonna okay. show her. And uh, that's also why I'm keeping her doling. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. That udder. Makes sense to me. You've got a great udder. Your milk bag is amazing. Do you know that? Such a great milk bag. Oh goodness, everybody's going crazy for whatever you just put in there. Oh, the piggy's got to get to it, There's huh? There's a nibble left. Well, they're getting that nibble. All right, time to milk. Yeah, you, oh, see, you see my... Oh, you brought... Did you bring my coffee down? Did no, you put I... my coffee in there? No, I thought you had your coffee. No, you told me to get the camera. Oh, man. There's no coffee in there for me. We can share. I'm going to drink your coffee while I'm at it. Is that all right? That's you good fine. with that? It's fine. Ah, uh, there won't be any left. Of course not. Was this her first year or second, second. year? Second. Yeah. Second year? So she had a single last year, and of course it was her first freshening, so her udder was much smaller, although I could tell it was really well attached and had good capacity. I love attached udders. This yeah. is my favorite conversation you and I have with each other is about attached udders. I mean, if I can impress upon anyone anything, it's that your udders need to be well attached. Oh, I'm really glad that we, we have that conversation in the morning. Every morning, actually. No, that's not what we're gonna do. Come on, girl. Hey, go back to eating 
your breakfast, please. I'm ruining her uh, mojo. You really are. Yeah. She's All apparently right. milk shy. She's gonna kick that milk bucket. There you go. Are you gonna make me hold your leg? Are you gonna make me do it? So this is only like day four of her being back on the milk stand. So we have our moments that I have to hold one of her legs. But last year, after the first week or so, she just stood to be milked. So I am optimistic she will go back to just standing to be milked. I'm pretty sure I know why she's trying to help, by the way. Because milk's just, delicious? She just wants her, she wants the milk. Yeah, of course. Right, I'm gonna pour this milk in here so we don't get it knocked over. Where's the filter? I filter it inside. Oh. I'm giving you unfiltered milk, Kenny. Yeah, 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 yeah. Are you gonna cooperate? No? Okay. Stop. By the way, this is why my shoulder and neck hurt. She's calming down a little bit. First, I, I ruined it. You ruined it. Don't talk. Don't talk. It's usually because I play Taylor Swift for her while I'm milking. Ah. Well, how about I let you finish milking, and I will go and let the chickens out. Okay. And then you can rock out to some Taylor Swift, okay? All right. Take a scoop of feed for them. What is this, my first day? Yes, it is your first day doing morning chores. Ah. I just don't do the morning. All right. Very, very cold out here. So another project that we have coming up is gonna be uh, doing some chicken coop catching uppery. We used to keep the food in the chicken coop in that storage area in the back that I had made, but uh, apparently there's been some critters, or a critter, making their way into the coop. So I gotta go in there and shut off some of those areas. I kind of figured that was gonna happen at some point because I didn't completely close off the area, but uh, now I'm gonna, so eh, hang that up there real quick. This is what you gotta do when you have to film it and you gotta let them out. Morning. Morning, chickies. Good morning. Some of them know the food's coming and they're trying to figure out where I put it. There you go, birds. Not sure if you remember these laying boxes, but we moved them in here to the chicken coop and uh, they don't actually seem to be using them ever. Uh, part of it is because they're still open in the back and it's not really giving them a whole lot of the, the shelter, I guess, that they would need or like the privacy that those, those ladies like to have, you know? So, that's another thing I'm gonna work on. I have, uh, I have some stuff I can put back there that'll protect them from the wind and give them a little bit of a, a privacy area. And then I think they'll start using them again. I don't expect them to use them in the winter anyway. They've never really been fond of them in the winter. They are, however, fond of them in the summer, usually. But this laying box, they're still using. So that's good. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about right there. Fresh eggs every morning, folks. Look at that. Fresh eggs every morning.
think I should I let him out or should I leave him in there? Wow. Okay, so I won't make fun of anybody else for locking themselves in the coop anymore. <laughs> Do you think maybe you could attach that escape I thing? I think maybe I could get that done now. Okay. I all was right. just trying to get all the eggs, you know? Yeah. Well, I was in the middle of trying to bag bomb here, so. Ah, okay. I'll get that. Thanks. Bag bomb. Bag bomb. No one likes a chapped udder. No one likes chapped udders. I'm gonna go put the eggs inside, I'll be back. Okay. What is wrong with you? Crazy dog. What? Those dogs are nutty. Of course, they just went inside because it's cold. Is it cold? You went inside? You trying to come in? All right. Whew. Let's go check to see how mama's doing with the goats. See if they're behaving a little bit better. Getting milked. Are you gonna get milked today? Hi, Magoo. Hey, Miss Magoo, how are you? Huh? How are you this morning, Miss Magoo? You all need some water, huh? I guess I ought to get that. So who you got here, mom? This is Scarlett. She's actually uh, Robbie's goat, but she's one of my favorite. He's gonna show her again this year. She's got a nice little first freshener udder. Now that side's milked out right now, but yeah. But she's a she's a pretty girl. Whose goat did you say it was? Robbie's. So to all those folks who were giving us a hard time about <laughs> For me this, making Robbie do chores. Yeah, yes. because this is your thing. Yes, it's uh, also Robbie's thing. Yes. And both of the girls have asked to show goats this year, so. Yeah. This is a family affair, folks, not just a one person affair. Yep. Even I help, just not usually in the morning. <laughs> Yes. I don't do mornings well. Kenny does a lot with the goats. Just he's not a morning person. Right. And we all have our things, you know? Yep. Yeah. Like that's how most homesteads should work. Everybody will have their thing, you know? Like when... I don't fix stuff. I know how to <laughs> I know how to use a drill and like if I was forced Sort of. Do you remember that video where you almost drilled through yeah. a table? But like yeah. if I was forced to do it, I could do it. You but... could figure it out. Yeah. Yeah. But I I'm not forced to do it, so I know. Right, that's why you have me. Right. Yeah. So we all have, you know, our things. That's the way it goes. I mean, who do you think did all this work in this barn? Allie. Allie? Shut your <laughs> pie hole. Right, Rhiannon? You spastastic goat. The, uh, the water out here is empty, so I'm gonna go fill that up. Okay. All right? Yeah, it's a five gallon bucket. Oh, is it? Yeah. Right. Hey Stevie, good morning. Oh yes, yes, get real up and close. Real up and close. All right, let's let's say hi to everybody. Hi, Stevie. Hi, Stevie. This is Stevie Nicks. 
She's my favorite. Yeah? Yeah. She loves me. I love her. Right, girl? Yeah. Oh, she gets very protective of me. Oh, boom, right into the fence. All right. Okay, yes, yes, I love you too. I do, I do, I do, yeah. Okay, I gotta get up. Uh, are you gonna help me? Uh, look at you two playing baby goats. All right, let's go get some coffee. What do you say, Stevie? Huh? Yeah, I agree. Oh, we got one coming in. Right. Did she milk well today or no? Yeah, I'm. I freed her letter. Uh, letter? Her letter. Her udder is lopsided, even though I put in all that work to make sure that it wasn't. Yeah. I just think the kids have kept favoring one side over the other, which is a bummer. Yeah. Can you take this egg so I don't smash it? Yeah. It's not a turkey egg. It's a little tiny chicken egg. Where the heck did the chicken come from? It's just laid in here, I guess. Got it. Ew! Stop. Whoa! Did you see her sass you? She ruffled up real good. This is Sherilyn Sarkeesian, and uh, as her name would suggest, she is a diva. Wait. What the heck is her name? Sherilyn Sarkeesian. And what is that? Where'd that That's come Cher's from? That's Cher's name. Oh, is it Cher? This is Cher. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't know that. Did I ever tell you I met Cher? It's Cher. What? Yeah, when I worked at the Hotel Hershey. I sang on stage with Kenny Rogers. Not, not as cool. What? <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I mean, Kenny Rogers is cool, but he's not like Cher cool. I might have to pull out my yearbook. Oh, I have a God. picture of me and Kenny Rogers. Sort of. All right, little lady. <laughs> Ew, that is not, that is a very untimely photo. Right on this, the hay. Peed on it? No, it took a dump. <laughs> so what, what are you doing with this little girl right now? Getting her used to the collar. The collar, yep. Okay. I want to show her in April, so. You always have to make sure that you're involved, huh? Oh my gosh, right? Flipping turkey. Stay away from my hands. She right? bit me yesterday. I was like massively bruised. Looks better, but. Yeah. She like bit me right there. Cause I had mealworms. Oh. I didn't give them to her fast enough. Apparently not. Hey, are we doing our very first live stream this weekend? This was the weekend you said we would do it. Was it? Yeah. Okay, when are we going to do that? I don't probably, know. Probably Sunday. Because Sunday? Because we have, uh, Emerson has a competition on Saturday. All right. Sunday it is. He's so big now. My gosh. Look at him. He is huge. Hey, Grover. What's up, big man? So big. He is. He's a big baby, too, aren't you? He really is. He was crying after you left yesterday when you had him out. Oh, my God. Crying. Hey, you. Hey, you. Belle and Peekaboo. Pocus, Pocus, Pocus. Pocus. So with the bucks and the alpacas, because we don't have electric down here, we just uh, we bring them hot water, which they like. And you know we probably do it like, what would you say, two three times a day? Yeah. We bring them hot yeah, water. Usually twice if it's like super cold, like one of those zero degree days, then I'll do it again in the middle of the day. Yeah. But usually all right. 
scouts over here to keep Grover company because Mick had to go back to one of the farms that he visited earlier. Uh, three of their four does settled, so he went back to take care of the fourth one. Oh, hi. He's out now. Hi. Hey, scout. There's no food in there, girl. There's no food in there. You're just gonna look anyway, huh? Hey. Scout won't go into heat again until maybe June. Yeah. So she can hang out with the boys. Are you gonna shoot for June? Uh, I gotta decide. I would do it. How I wanna plan next year. I would do it. I don't know. I was thinking maybe we could go on a vacation in January next year, like go somewhere tropical. Uh, I mean, you're going to have babies in January. Well, that's why I was thinking of not having babies in January. No, I mean, I'd like to not have babies in the freezing cold for once. Come just, here, Scout. Just saying. Scout. Hey, come here, girl. Oh, she's gone. Anybody have anything they want to say for the day, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah? What do you have to say? Oh, you're just getting in my face. Well, that wraps up morning chores, everybody. Uh, we're going to get going here, and uh, I'll catch you on the next one.